立ち向かうは地味猛烈悪気羅折いな七期の英霊剣豪参りましょう主山決画の試合舞台フェイトグランドオーダーエピックオブレムナント英霊剣豪七番勝負 Hello everyone, welcome back to Fate Grand Order. We're skipping Agartha for now because, well, quite honestly, I need to get going to hit the Ketsmiss event because that's very important because it only comes once and honestly, I can make it there. However, uh, the problem is that apparently in the part two stuff, there's characters from Shimosa who are very important. So I said, okay. I'll do it. Apparently, it's the shortest of these three, so hey, that's fine. Um, and what we're going to do is we will go through that. I've also heard that it is hell. I don't even know what a shimosa is. That sounds like a drink I'd have if I didn't want a beer. The, the, the joke is a samosa. Um, I also, in between parts, never got an angry mango because that would be too, too good for me, of course. Uh, but I did get my gill... Up to a sweet, sweet level 100. The only thing is we just gotta work on these there. And a few more level ups for his skills. Though honestly, the golden rule, I really don't want to increase. Because this one, I don't see it being too good. Like, this one's really good. This one's really good. Though I don't want to use my uh, my lore there. Um, oh, bond gained during... Bond gained upon clearing. Pseudo Singularity 3, Shimosa main... Oh, well, hey, he's going to love going there. Can I see, actually, who's all good? Oh, wow, well, hey, it's a, it's a good number of, of, of guys. So, hey, that's good. Didn't even know that. Well, let's head on into Shimosa. Where is this? What is a Shimosa? I'm going to learn when I click on it. We're in 1639 AD. All right, let's go. I've been told... To use the Caldia combat suit quite often, a hawk cries out somewhere in the distance. It's a cave. In Mount... K oh, okay, Japan. Understood. In Mount Kinbo's Reganin Regandu, an old man awaits the final moments of his life. His name? Shinmen Musashi no Kami. That means God, right? Hmm. Fujiwara no Harunobu. Which is to say I am speaking of myself. I'm an old man. Yes, I am Shinman Musashi, one whose blade has spilt the blood of countless others. Perhaps I was once called Miyamoto Musashi. Oh. Well, okay, that's who we're dealing with. At some point, but that doesn't matter now. No, not yet. I refuse to sleep just yet. Come now, eyes. Open up. Yes, that's it. I may well end up dying today or tomorrow, but it won't be right this instant. Patience. After all, my visitor has yet to arrive. Hmm. Now, where was I? Oh, yes, my blades. I killed quite a few people with them. Blades. They are tools for killing, for cutting and slashing human bodies. They were once referred to Tachi and Katana. Now they refer to Katana and Wakizashi. Blades are carried by soldiers, by warriors, by Bushi. They could also be called Samurai. A variation of the word Saburao, which means to serve as they serve their masters. In any case, those who command these warriors are known as generals. A general is not is like nothing so much as a master carpenter. He must know how to make use of every tool at his disposal to carry out his master's wishes. Even now, I can hear a young Iori telling me he doesn't understand what I mean. Perhaps Maganoju would have had that smug, knowing expression about now. Yes, I imagine he would. Me? I'm hopeless. I didn't understand anything back when I was young. I just traveled the world, cutting down any, any who challenged me. I could never have hoped to be a general. At best, I would have ended up some minor commander bound for some tiny domain. How foolish. Yes, foolish. What point is there in being good with a blade? It's good for nothing but killing and maiming others. Perhaps my life might have been more worthwhile had I been a painter. No doubt Takada Matabe would laugh if he heard that. He would say I'm 
spouting nonsense in my old age. This is where the Japanese players are going, Oh, I know all these people, I know all these people! And, and us Westerners are like, And I've heard of Miyamoto Musashi, but that's about it. Yes, you're right, Matabe. It is far too late for me to allow myself to wallow in regret now. As if I would ever say something like that. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with a bit of foolishness. I lived in a chaotic age where the screams of agony were common as birdsong. I have no regrets. I spent my whole life cutting, slashing, and slaughtering. Come then, fate. Well, that's what, that's what we're doing, dude. Show me what my final moments hold. Spirits in heaven, forgive me for such fruitless dreams. Treat them as no more than the ramblings of an old man on death's door. And pay them no heed. Still... I have precious little time left. My eyes may close forever, even before the fateful moment arrives. <laughs> well, this is troubling. How truly vexing. Gods, Buddha, at any rate, I'll even take an Oni. Especially if it's a shooting doji, or a demon. Please give me more time so that I may reach my destiny. I don't think I'll be able to do so in the bowels of hell. Hmm. If that is impossible, then. Ah, if only this world were itself a living hell. Oh, don't wish for that, dude. Don't. Trust me. 2020, you'll get there. Oh, senpai. Speak of the devil. <laughs> that's that's good. I like that. That's that. That's good writing. Just heading to your room to look for you. I finally found something I've been trying to find for some time. What were you so keen to find, Mash? Oh, I wasn't looking for it for my sake. If anything, it's more to do with you, Senpai. Let me start at the beginning. Let's see, Senpai, you once said that you met Miyamoto Musashi, the famous swordsmaster, during a dreamlike experience, right? That would probably be her trial quest. I'm afraid I don't remember it very clearly. Give me more details. You don't? Perhaps there's some rule we don't know about that uniquely affects miniature singularities. Yeah, like some people don't necessarily have the ability to pay for them, or they're too late so they don't get to play it while it comes up. Very well then, let me tell you what you told me right after you returned. Hey, thank you for telling me, game. Unlike the historical Miyamoto Musashi, this one you encountered was a woman, perhaps from a world of pruning theoretical phenomenon. She may have been one who travels between worlds via special means, or even a living human rather than a heroic spirit. Whatever the case, that was the Musashi you met. I found this very intriguing. I had nothing to go on what you told me and the circumstantial evidence. And there was one more thing, something that kept nagging at me personally. If Miyamoto Musashi has been split into two different people, one male, one female, there may be a reason for that. Huh. Okay. Of course, there are a fair number of heroic spirits with numerous what-if spirit origins registers here at Akaldi alone. Yes, there are. Maybe that's the case with Musashi as well, or maybe she's something completely different. Either way, I had to find out. Uh, so you're looking for data on Musashi, huh? Yes, and I couldn't have done it without the whole staff's help. Uh, it was no big deal. There was all sorts of always accessible text formatted data already saved at the standard library. Unfortunately, image data of authentic original text isn't easy to find. But luckily, we recently happened across some that was saved to a standalone underground library. I think my heart skipped a beat when it first turned up, though, after all. It said not to look at it in the readme file. I'm very happy that there is some media that, like, actively talks about readme files, because that's such a computer thing in our real world that, like, it's always forgotten. Still, I scanned it for viruses and it came up clean, so it should be alright. Probably just someone's idea of a practical joke. It never is. Anyway, I hope this image taken of the original manuscript for the Book of Five Rings helps you two out later. Ooh, the Book of Five Rings. That's interesting. I've heard of that before. What do I know about it? Not really anything, but I've heard of it. Thank you so much. Ah, oh, it's the book Musashi wrote. Oh, but isn't that... Let's see. Yes, this is the book that the Miyamoto Musashi who left his mark on our history wrote. The female Musashi you met had nothing... Okay, I'm going to start off by doing a quick Google. Was Miyamoto Musashi real? Miyamoto Musashi um, was a soldier artist of the early Edo era. He was absolutely real. He was a... Oh, this is interesting. He actually was a painter. 
Okay, I'm on the Encyclopedia Britannica. So he went under the artistic name Niten. Okay, stop with the ads, please, Britannica. He began his career in an early life at age 13. He killed a man in single combat. He was on the losing side of the Battle of Sekigahara, which paved the way for establishing the Tokugawa Shogunate, becoming a ronin. Um, he invented Nito Ichiryu, the style of fencing with two swords, and is referred to today as Kensai, the sword saint. Whoa, that's cool! Miyamoto's Musashi's most famous account took place in 1612 against his arch-rival, arch Sasaki Kojiro. Wait. Sasaki Kojiro... ...was a swordsman. But... Wait. Dueled Miyamoto Musashi. Yeah. But I thought Sasaki Kojiro wasn't real. I don't know. My knowledge isn't that good. Okay, I'm just reading here. Uh, so he fought Sasaki Kojiro. The contest took place on a small island off the coast of Japan. While, uh, while being rowed out to the dueling site, Musashi fashioned a wooden sword out of an oar. When the two enemies finally met on the beach, Musashi quickly dispatched Kojiro with a well-placed uh, blow to the head with the wooden sword. After that, feeling that he had reached his peak as a swordsman, Musashi retired from dueling, though he trained some students to help prevent, uh, suppress the Shimbara Rebellion. According to legend, Musashi wrote his famous work on strategy, Gorin no Sho, which is the Book of Five Rings, which dealt with martial experience both individually and militarily on his deathbed. Um, it was actually first English translated in 1974. Interesting. He was a Sume-e artist, which is the monochrome ink painting. Painted in powerful and direct style with an amazing economy of strokes. Uh, he has some famous pictures uh, that you can find on Google. I'm going to type in Miyamoto Musashi Art and see, what it, see if I recognize it. Miyamoto Musashi Art. Let's see here. Oh, wow. That is really beautiful. Oh, yeah. When they talk about minimal number of, like, like there are, I could count the paint strokes on the page, and everyone is so perfectly done. Wow. Yeah, that's an economic use of paint. That's incredible. Wow. Give it a look if you haven't. Thank you for today's art lesson. For one thing, she hadn't materialized as a servant, right? Uh, no, but she was just as strong as anyone. Okay. Moving between worlds while still being alive... Alternate histories, but with the exact same name. A different version of the exact same person. Senpai, can you wait for a little while? There's something I want to try. If the Musashi you met was different from our history's Miyamoto Musashi, but she also had the same name and fought with two swords, then we may be able to find something else they have in common, or maybe some way in which they're entirely different in the manuscript. I know I'm grasping at straws, so I can't offer anything more definitive right now, but eh, maybe we'll learn something surprising about her. Thank you, Senpai. Hey, Kojiro. <laughs> so you were discussing the Book of Five Rings, were you? I really must say, it might be a touch difficult to decipher it and to find a proper expert. Ah. <laughs> Musashi and Kojiro were like peas in a pod. Oh no, I may call myself Sasaki, Sasaki, uh, Sasaki Kojiro, but who's to say if that is indeed who I truly am? Right, you took the name, but you weren't actually him. That's what your detail is. No, I am merely a stick-waving samurai who stumbled onto this name. I have certainly heard the name Miyamoto Musashi, but I've never actually met him. Indeed, I have no connection to him whatsoever, for good or ill. Nonetheless, now that I go by Kojiro, I cannot ignore the mark that Shinmen Musashi has made upon the world. Knowledge of the Book of Five Rings was bestowed upon me when I was summoned as a servant, whether I wished it or not. As such, I know it quite well, though I cannot say how comprehensible its contents will be to you, Lord Tanner. Everything up to the Book of Earth and the Book of Water can be interpreted easily enough, but beyond that, it's more of a book of riddles than a manual. Its final chapter, the Book of Void, is nothing more than a scrap that lays Musashi's feelings bare. Nor are they descriptive in tangible material manner. Void discusses what lies beyond, the karmic laws one's eyes cannot can see. And the concept of zero, which at the time was the very bleeding edge of Buddhist studies. 
Indeed, it reads more like a philosophical treats than uh, created to help the reader accept this new way of thinking. Excuse me? I'm afraid I completely forgot. Sasaki Kojiro! Sorry for getting carried away. I didn't mean to shout in your face like that. But I just remember that you showed up in the story about the famous duel in Ganryu Island. Of course, some say that the story was just invented some years later, and you're also rather unique when it comes to heroic spirits. But that's exactly why I should have thought to ask you about it first. And yet, for some reason, it never even occurred to me until now. Well, that's odd. It felt like my head was swimming in some kind of haze or something. Please calm yourself, Lady Mash. Take a few deep breaths and make sure you're getting enough oxygen. Now, may I ask what you mean to do with the Book of Five Rings? Did you mean to summon Musashi to Kaldi as well? No, not exactly. Uh, y you never know for sure when it comes to Musashi. Oh, so you met a Miyamoto Musashi, but not the historical Miyamoto Musashi of our world. Rather, she's a woman with thin arms who wields two katana, claims to be Musashi, aspires to be to perfect her swordsmanship, hmm? Fascinating. She sounds very much like me, and yet entirely different. I may be Sasaki Kojiro, but inside, I am merely a single manifestation of one of the many legends surrounding him. I am but the shadow of the moon reflected in a pool of water. You say this mysterious Musashi met is apparently THE Musashi rather than one of his manifestations. In which case, did this female Musashi ever tell you this? Kojiro, you have lost. According to other swords masters, that was what Musashi said to Kojiro after the latter had cast aside his scabbard of his own accord while waiting Musashi on Ganryu Island. There are numerous interpretations of their duel, but there are no lines more famous than this. As such, those words would prove that this Musashi was indeed who she claims. Perhaps we even came to believe that she was Musashi because you heard her speak that line, Lord Tanner? Uh, she's, uh, nah, she never said anything like that. I'm just going off of what I haven't seen, and that's okay. I'm sure the game... The game is doing a pretty good job for filling in the blanks. Oh-ho, oh-ho-ho. That complicates matters, and I believe this female Musashi has yet to reach the void. Which may then make you the final piece of this puzzle, Lord Tanner. Musashi was my most ephemeral rival, wielder of two katana for whom Sasaki Kojiro had waited since time immemorial. There may have been more, many great swordmasters in Japan's history, but despite being flashy and controversial, none so well known and beloved as him. He was a brilliant martial artist with nary a loss to his name, Shin Men. Whoa, that was a... I saw something there that I couldn't recognize. Musashi no Kami. Fujiwara no Arunobu. That does sound like me. But I never dreamed I'd have the luxury of someone overseeing it all to the end. I never thought things would turn out like this. What is happening? Senpai? You look pale. No more than pale, you look ghostly white. Wait, this has happened before. What's wrong, Senpai? Senpai? Dang, we collapsed. Senpai! Senpai, please wake up, Senpai! What is all this commotion? It's early. What's wrong, Matt? You seem awfully worked up. Why, you're pale as an oni. Oh, and I see Masters collapse in a heap. He's out cold, isn't he? But don't worry, he's still got a pulse. We're neither too late nor too early. I shall go fetch Lady Martha. Lady Mash remain calm. Lady Doji, keep an eye on things. Well, it's not like he's dying or anything, although it does feel like there's some kind of magical energy here. Well, never mind, guess it was just my imagination. Hey, Tanner, wake up or I'll start nibbling on you from the head down. I mean, the one on, my, like, my the top, right? Senpai! Senpai, can you hear me? There you have it. Mr. Tanner has fallen into a deep coma. What? He was thoroughly examined, but nothing was found to be amiss. If anything, he appears to be the picture of health. But he will not wake up. Not even all the healing-focused casters in Kaldia working together are able to open his eyes. According to Mash, this is not the first time Master has succumbed to such a coma. When this happened before, I believe the cause lay with... Hmm. Oh, my apologies. Ultimately, the King of Mages was responsible for that, of course. Though you were certainly complicit, you were not the sole cause of the problem. Nor are you the sort of man to repeat the same crime twice. Nonetheless, I couldn't help but suspect you might know a thing or two about this. Silence. Keep prattling on and I'll burn you to ash from the inside out. 
Do not speak to me. I have no interest in whatever you have to say. Just keep your mouth shut, Holmes. Quite a shame, that. I thought we might find common ground as gentlemen who share a fondness for tobacco. Very well, then. I shall refrain from further conversation. I was merely hoping you might be able to help contain this situation. But I shall respect your wishes and do without your cooperation. However, as this matter concerns Caldia's soul master, it is of utmost importance. As such, I shall be continuing my investigation. Do what you will, it's no concern of mine. Huh. There we go. That should have him helping out in earnest. It's a shame that things have come to this, but now that they have, everything depends on us doing our best. And of course, upon Mr. Tanner's own battle. Ah. Whoa. So did we not ray shift here? Pseudo parallel world. Undetermined. The stage of Carnage seven duels. Of Whoa, what is happening? Uh, hi, I'm gonna open my eyes. You see a blue sky stretching out above you. Sit up. Oh, it's like a text adventure. Yep, this is Japan. You can tell from the rice patties. Oh, already awake? I thought you'd be out for at least another day. Oh, hey! Wait, no, sorry. Why do I always say the first thing that comes to mind? Okay, then, to make up for that, let me tell you what's going on. Seeing as it's such a nice day, I decided this was a good time and place to eat. I unwrapped my meal and was just getting ready to eat when you suddenly fell from the sky. Boy, I keep doing that, huh? I caught you, purely on instinct. But in the process, my rice ball fell into the dirt. But anyway... I tried calling to you and slapping you awake, but you were out like a lantern, so I figured it was I was in for a day of waiting around here to keep an eye on you. Well, you just went up and woke up on your own like Yajirobi. I see your luck is still as strong as ever. Maybe Lady Kanon has taken you under her protection. Anyway, let me introduce myself again. I'm... Hey, Musashi, what's up? <laughs> That's right, I'm Shinman Musashi no Kami Fujiwara no Harunobu. But you can just call me Musashi, like you did before. It's been a long time, Tanner. I'm so glad we were able to see each other again. Okay, so this is, yeah, the same one. We met her in a dream world. Now we're together. Yo, look at this painting. That's beautiful. Yo, I like that. I like that a lot. Nice. Well, I guess we're in the rice fields. Prima Cantinka Purgatorio, beginning. What in tarnation? Oh, right. People were saying you only have access. Ooh. Are you for real? This is crazy. Okay, everyone's saying definitely use this. You only have access to... Oh, that's weird. Prima Cantica Purgatorio. So, I sure hope I get my servants eventually. Is this gonna have to be me being smart for once? Thanks for filling me in. I think I got the lay of the land now. Basically, you don't know where you are, how you got here. Usually, we got a thing that lets you talk to your comrades, but for some reason, you can't do that now. And to top it all off, you can't be totally sure that this isn't all a dream. Think about it. Uh, that about it? Uh, it's just like the first time we met. Oh, back on Onigashima. I've actually crossed a few more worlds since then, but never mind that now. Did you get over your dizzy spells? Okay, I can trust your story then. Last thing you remember, you were still in your own w back in Caldia, and BAM! Next thing you know, you're waking up here. I can't say for sure whether you're dreaming or not, but I think I heard stories about people's spirits leaving their bodies while they dream. Some puppeteer with glasses once told me that, while it's extremely rare to travel to other worlds while dreaming, it does happen occasionally. Um, well, I don't know about that, so I see. At any rate, even I'm surprised by how far off the beaten path your life takes you. You think? Sure, it makes me feel closer to you than ever before. It's great to finally have someone to talk to who really gets me. And since we have so much in common, I'll be glad to help you uh, wake up from this dream safely. Best guess, you probably are dreaming. But at the same time, this world also really exists. At least I think it does. You end up dying here before you wake up, you probably end up dead for real. Oh, you die in the dream, you die in real life. I've seen people die to curses? I've seen stuff like that more than a few times. So as Musashi no Kami, I hereby offer to serve as your guard until this thing blows over. 
<laughs> it's been so long since I've said something like that. It makes me feel kind of silly. Somebody even trusted a ruffian like me to look after a plot of land once, if you can believe that. Don't worry, I've protected a fair few over the years, so you can just relax and let me handle everything. In fact, to be honest, I just came here a day ago myself, so I've been a little nervous about exploring this place on my own. Ah, uh, so we're both in the same boat? Yep, though I'm not nearly as out of place as you are. The air's kind of different here, but this is still the, J the Japan I know. That said, I'm afraid I don't know anything more about what's going on than you do. Sorry about that. I've bounced around all kinds of worlds, but it seems I can't get back to the worlds I've been to before. I'm always getting called Stranger and World Drifter and other stuff like that wherever I go, so I'm almost always starting from scratch. A lot of the time, I got a rough types. I get rough types up in my face, picking fights and stuff. Sometimes it gets me so riled up I can't control myself. But with you here with me, I'm sure you'll talk me down from doing anything foolish. Lady Kanon must have had a hand in this. I mean, you ended up here just after you were talking about me, right? It must be fate. Wait, how do you know that? Anyway, I'm glad you're here with me. Let's find out what's uh, put this place together. We'll look for a way to get you back to your own world and a way to keep me going with my journey. I'm glad you're here too, too cute Musashi. We're going to flirt with her. Okay, now that we're all caught up. Oh, she was just fine with it. Well, let's say we get moving. From the look of things around here, I can say for sure we're in Japan. I guess somewhere around the center of the country? Let's start by seeing what's over in that direction. If we're lucky, we'll find a village. If we're unlucky, well, we should still find a river. Well, we've been walking for an hour, and so far the only thing we found is a bunch of Jizo statues. Still, I bet it wouldn't be much longer until we find a village. Trust me, it's usually how it goes. Are you okay, Tanner? Did you want to take a break? I must have been walking pretty quickly. Uh, it's nothing compared to America. Huh? You mean you've crossed that whole continent? That's amazing! Even I got tired just by crossing the western part of it. Still, you know what America is like, huh? That country is really huge. Although, <laughs> if you can handle that much land, that means you can also handle me dragging you around kind of rough, huh? Anyway, I guess I should save my energy and just hush a bit, huh? Let's take it nice and easy while we walk. Luckily, the sky's a beautiful blue today. I'm still hungry since I lost my rice ball, but I can make do as long as the sky is nice and blue like this. You like blue skies, don't you, Musashi? I do. America's sky was beautiful too, but there's just something about it here that I really love. Like it has a kind of depth to it? That's not right. If anything, the sky seems more pliable. America's sky was so pretty you could feel your thoughts emptying as you looked out at it, but not this sky. It feels like I could it could pull you in to a point where it's actually kind of scary. Things I love about it. I guess part of that has to do with my memories of watching it as a child, though. <laughs> hey, I can sense someone. Let's say we got lucky and someone's coming this way. I wonder if they're from around here. This should work out well. We can ask them everything we want to know. Hi there. What are you two doing in the rice fields? I can tell you're not from around here. Are you travelers? Where did you come from? That's right. I'm a traveling swordsman. A swordswoman. And the fact that we understand each other just goes to show that this really is Japan. I can't easily explain where I come from, but I was born in a town called Ohara in the Mimsaka province. Have you heard of it? It's home to Kenmitsu Temple. Uh, uh, never mind. I guess it doesn't matter. I'm Musashi. Miyamoto Musashi. My real name is a bit longer than that, but that'll do for now. How about you, miss? What's your name? It's so nice of you to help out by watching that baby. Is he your little brother? Are you his big sister? Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. You're a woman samurai and you're so pretty. Oh gosh, oh gosh, your costume is really pretty too. Are you from Edo? Huh? <laughs> me pretty? D did you hear that, Tanner? She called me pretty. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I knew it. It feels so strange, but a good kind of strange. Anyway, thank you for the compliment. Uh, oh, uh, my name is Onui, and this is my brother Tasuke. <laughs> Aren't you a good little boy, Tasuke? Wow, Tanner, I didn't know you were so good with babies. I'm impressed. I like babies. Oh, and kids too. But I'm just no good at looking after them. Whenever they cry, I end up wanting to cry with them. Oh God. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Oh no, wait, you mentioned Edo, right? It sounds like it's a major city. That would put us at the same time period I was in before, during the Tokugawa Shogunate's reign. Ah, uh, there's still a range of a few hundred years, so... Wait, the Tokugawa Shogunate lasts for that long? Oh man, now I really wish I'd enlisted. Are you going to go to Edo, Miss Samurai? Or to Toke Castle? Toke Castle? 
Uh huh. If that's where you're headed, it's just a half day's walk along the highway. That would mean this is Kazasu Province. So we must be in the eastern part of the country. No, this is the Shimo. Oh, Shimosa is a province in Japan. Okay. Is that so? Hmm? There's a really big town all the way around the castle. It's much bigger than our village. Wait, huh? Hold on. I could have sworn that Toka Castle was in Kazasu. That was abandoned during the Toyotomi reign. I don't remember it being big enough to have its own town either. This is all very different than I remember. Say, Anui, Lord Tokugawa is the ruler of Ito, right? That's right, his name is Tokugawa Ie... Ie something. Oh, Ie Mitsu! His name is Tokugawa Ie Mitsu! Not Ie Yasu? Hmm. This is Ie Mitsu's reign. Okay, so Ie Mitsu... Was Iemitsu before or after Ieyasu? Tokugawa Iemitsu. I've never heard that name, actually. Uh, third... So, he was the third shogun of the Tokugawa dynasty. He had Tokugawa Hidetawa. His grandson was Tokugawa Ieyasu. Okay. So, he's he's the grandfather of uh, Ieyasu. Uh, hmm. Maybe this is part of that. Um, oh wait. Let's read that. So this is Ie Mitsu's reign, even so Toka Castle should still be in Kazasu. Hmm. Maybe this is part of that. Part of what? Sometimes the history of worlds I wander into differs slightly from the history of my own world. That's probably what's going on here. How about in your time? Is Toka Castle part of Kazasu? Was it even a proper castle, even during the Tokugawa reign? Uh I have no idea. <laughs> right, of course. Sorry, I should have known better than to ask. At any rate, this is good. We now know that this is the Tokugawa reign under the Tokugawa Iemitsu, and that we're somewhere in the Shimosa province. This girl was pretty quick and confident in her answers, so there's no reason to doubt her. I think we've made lots of progress. Things are going so well it almost seems wrong. Usually I end up having to fend off burglars before I even meet a single decent person. Hell, most of the time I have to cross mountains before I even learn the name of whatever place I happen to cross. Wow, you've got some real bad luck, huh? I know, right? More often than not, the only person people who will talk to me are bandits. Good thing for me that you're here this time, Tanner. Oh, you're hungry. Ah, uh, that was just my stomach growling. I guess that's what happens when you haven't eaten anything for two days straight. Say, Onoi, is there a tea house anywhere around here? There's a tea house on the other side of the village. Oh, but my grandpa's hermitage is a lot closer. That's where Tusuke and I come from. <laughs> Say, pretty samurai lady? Weird kimono? I'm in a kimono? Weird kimono? Oh, no, I guess she would think it's a weird kimono. Would you two like to come to my grandpa's hermitage? I could make you tea. You know how to make tea, Onui? So you know how to do housework as well as watch your brother, huh? What a responsible young girl you are. I'm very proud of you. Uh, anyway, please follow me and... Huh? I know this feeling. Oh. Whoa, that's fast. Whoa, there wasn't a cloud in the sky a moment ago. This certainly is Japan. The monster's nearby. I know we get away from the cute guy and the weird... I mean, get away from Tanner. Oh gosh, oh gosh, the sky went all dark. Is this... It's okay, Tosuke. Nothing to be afraid of. Well, maybe a little bit. It'll be okay. You're right. There's nothing to be afraid of. That voice... It's not the kind of voice any child should have to hear. No way I want you to close your eyes and plug your ears. Children might see ghosts sometimes, but they should never have to see a real monster. Especially not during Iemitsu's reign. Widespread war should be gone by this period. Children shouldn't have to see people dying to hear bodies being torn apart. For that matter, they shouldn't have to see me using my swords either. It's like my luck is just as terrible as ever. Into this in the mountains is, at night is one thing. They're showing up in broad daylight. Things must be really bad in this time period. You there, evil spirit. I'm gonna ask who or what you are, and why you lost your way in the first place. I'm no monk, and I have no desire to hear your grudge or chant a prayer for you. If you disappear here and now, I won't even raise my katana against you. If you turn those rotting eyes of yours to the living, all bets are off. I especially won't have you looking at Onui or Tosuke. Uh, Musashi no Kami, will you help us? Of course. This evil spirit is made of pure bloodlust. I don't care of it. All the children's lives could be endangered. For that matter, your life. Hey, I'll fight with you. I can back you up. That's great to hear. You haven't changed a bit, Tanner. 
I could trust you. No more than that. You truly deserve respect, after all. I'm going to protect the children before I even said anything, whereas my first move was to take up my katana. Well, this is who I am. No sense feeling bad about it. I'm a swordsman, so I may as well act like one. I'm perfectly fine facing down evil spirits. Since the sun isn't keeping you at bay, I'll have to do it myself. The path of the void demands that souls devoid of flesh be cut away from this world. With my two katana, I shall do just that. So, I sure hope that we get our servants quickly. Because, uh... Ooh, Japanese battle theme, nice. Morning ghost, huh? Let's take you down and get some meter, because that will definitely help later on. I like the red and blue flames on the swords. Those are cool. Okay, we got one. Oof. God, this is going to be RNG, isn't it? Just hoping and praying that you don't get hit by crits, huh? Hey, well, we got our crit. We got a lot of meter there. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, what do we have? Oh, yo, the Dark Warrior! Oh, no, it's not um, it's not an archer. Okay. I was worried that we'd have to deal with an archer. Thankfully, we don't. Um, let's pop, uh... Do this on you. Stun you so that we can then go and get more meter. Hopefully we can do some good damage. There we go. Alright. Now we're going to bit force. And this. And attack up. And we're going to go... Six paths, five rings. Well, now I get where the five rings comes from. Hey, that's pretty cool. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. That wasn't so bad. But boy, I cannot wait to get more, um, more of my servants, you know? Then I can actually use them. <laughs> Yeah, that dude wasn't that creepy, actually. He was kind of cool. Are the sky and evil spirits connected somehow? Looks like the spirits are all gone now. Oh, I can't believe it. That was amazing. You're so strong, Miss Samurai. First, I thought those were ghosts, but since you were able to get rid of them and you're not a monk... I wonder if they were actually bandits or burglars or something. <laughs> yeah, they did say that. I remember back when Mom and Dad were still alive. Oh, well, I see. So they're orphans. I always said to be careful at night, because lots of bad things show up then. I don't remember if Mom and Dad said anything about shadowy things showing up when it gets really cloudy. But I know they told us that's what happens at night. Grandpa said so too. Grandpa. Oh, I see. So they have a grandfather. He sounds very kind too. Um, although I still don't know why bandits showed up here and when it's not even at night. Well, they didn't look like bandits to me. What about you? Uh, I don't uh, not really like bandits. Right? Either way, now we know why they show up so often if they get mistaken for bandits. There's a castle that's not supposed to be here and evil spirits stalking fields like wild animals. I've wandered in time periods like that before, but this one seems especially dangerous. It looks to be as bad as Onigashima where we first met, or maybe even worse. Anyway, for now, let's pay Onoe's house a visit. I'm still hungry and we have to get her and Toski back home safely. <laughs> that's Toske. Tosuke for servant? Can Tosuke be summonable? Okay, do we still have... We have another guest servant. Okay, well... Oh my god, this is terrifying. Let's grab the new one, see if they're hopefully someone who can help out here. This is wild. Those dark things don't show up in Grandpa's Hermitage or the village, not even at night. I'd never even seen one before. You haven't either, right, Tasuke? 
See? Yeah, yes. I do. Maybe what Onoe told us. Oh. But things might be different from what she's used to now. Just it got dark again. There are definitely more monsters nearby too. There's so many evil spirits in this Edo period. Seriously, what's going on here anyway? The nerve of these things make me look bad by showing up right after I say they've all been taken care of. Yes, yes, we'll deal with you. If that wasn't bad enough. Oh, there's a lot of you, huh? There's even more of them now. If only I could summon servants. Huh? Well, I thought it was strange that no one else had showed up yet. Is that technique of yours not working right or something? Oh, if not, that's fine. It keeps things nice and simple. I may be so hungry I'm about to collapse, but I still have an example to set. This time I'll make sure to cut them down to such a small size I'll never come back to get... Tanner, get down. Who will be our helper? Who's our partner? Oh! Let's see, let's see. It looks as though I've materialized in this world for reasons unknown. Now I find myself in Shimusa. I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw monsters as appearing and attacking people left and right whenever the sky grew dark. Whenever I found one, I would rip them to shreds with my spear. Now after traveling the land and destroying numerous scores of them, I find myself in the presence of a beautiful swordsman accompanied by a child, a baby, and a young man dressed in strange clothing. Pray tell, how did this come to be? Whoa, who is this guy? Literally those spirits with a single thrust of his spear. The way he holds his spear, his gait, his torso, his build, his breathing. Compared to him, those spirits might as well have been kittens. Oh well, guess I better say something. I can tell you're a skilled fighter from the way you mowed down those spirits with a single spear strike. Are you the powerful warrior I've been hearing about? Well now, well now. I wasn't expecting you to answer my question with a question of your own. A powerful warrior? Hmm, it seems I'm one of the heroic spirits who have left their mark on humanity, but I still find that hard to believe. I find quite a bit of knowledge has been stuffed into this head of mine. But none of it answers any truly important questions. For what purpose was I summoned here? Where's the one who summoned me? I don't even know who, what I'm supposed to be doing. For the moment, I shall tell you my name. I am Hozuin Inshin. I've studied both Buddhism and the spear directly under Master Ine, the founder of the Hozuin style Sojutsu. Ah, it's Hozuin Hozu in Inshin. Right you are. Thank you for saying so, young one. I am indeed Hozuin Inshin, and am merely passing by. You're a monk? Why well, are you even stronger than those dark bandits? <laughs> Bandits? Were those bandits just now? As near as I could tell, they were nothing more than evil spirits. I think so too. If those were bandits, then all Japan would be overrun by... Wait, wait a sec, did I hear you right? Are you really Inshin? As in, like, THE Hozuin Inshin? The strongest Jumonji spear wielder who ever lived? The man who reinstated the Hozuin style Shoujutsu after Lord Li Nen passed away? Oh boy, all these words. The same Hozuin Inshin who's... Oh no whose skill with the spear even allowed him to step into the realm of the gods and the Buddha himself? Oh yes, I believe I'm that Inshin. I have certainly never gone by any other name. What about you? Is it rare to see a... It is rare to see a woman carrying a katana, but they do not appear to be mere decoration. This feeling you impart. I not possess the unique air of a heroic spirit, but I cannot help but sense something familiar about you. I see, you are a swordsman. Familiar, huh? I... I never managed to meet him before, and all my travels across different timelines of Japan, I never once came across Lord Inshin while he was still alive. He's an unparalleled genius with the spear, so much so that other warrior monks who ordinarily have no interest in who the strongest of them is talked about him in hushed, even reverent tones. I never imagined I would finally end up meeting him in a place like this. Still... Yeah. Right now, Tanner and the other two come first. My own interests can wait till later. Let me thank you once again for your help earlier. I was incredibly impressed by your skill with the spear. There can be no doubt that you are the Hozuin Inshin. Star pupil of the Hozu... Uh, the, uh, Hozo... Uh, no, because it would be... It would be Hozoin. Yeah, the Hozoin School of Sojutsu. A warrior monk said to be invincible once he takes up his Jumonji spear. Though, I was under the impression that you would be quite a bit older in this time period. Hmm? 
Ah, that is why you weren't sure about me? I apologize for that. There's a very good reason why I'm younger than you expected. It's because I'm a servant. Servant? Oh, you mean that kind of servant Tanner talks about sometimes. I believe he described them as the shadows of figures from fiction and history that materialize in this world to aid him in battle. Hmm, I see. So you're one of those then. Indeed. Thus I can see why you may be on your guard, as we servants are not exactly everyday occurrences. Well, I mean, except in this game. But you are hardly uh, without blame either. I heard you rattling your sword, attempting to provoke my ire. I cannot commend your actions. Had those children not been present, I would have answered such provocation. Sorry about that, it's a habit of mine whenever I meet an opponent who seems formidable, I end up goading them into a duel. But I guess I missed my chance thanks to you. Seems like now's not the best time to compare skills. I see. That is at once fortunate and very much the opposite. I too have no wish to kill a swordsman who can be reasoned with. All the more, if she is as beautiful as you are, I may be sworn to celibacy. That would still be a terrible shame. I agree. After seeing that smile, I'd really like it if we could be friends. I'm sorry for not properly introducing myself earlier. I'm Miyamoto Musashi. As you can see, I'm indeed a traveling swordsman. I'm sorry. Did you say Musashi? That's right. Musashi. Musashi. <laughs> Miyamoto Musashi, eh? As in Shinmen Musashi no Kami Fujiwara no Harunobu? Yep, that's me. <laughs> now I see. <laughs> I had no idea the famed Musashi was a woman. Forgive me for laughing like that. It was very rude of me. I was just really surprised. What a strange twist of history. I've spent my life walking both the paths of the Buddha and the spear. But nothing prepared me for the surprises that this new hollow life would have in store. What a great pleasure. This has, uh, this has been to have my expectations upturned like... Wait, wait, this is wrong. You're a far cry from the Musashi I know. You there, young man. You know who Musashi is supposed to be, right? I know what you mean. Mm, this is just what happened when I first met you, Tanner. What's with the me from other worlds? Anyway, I'm afraid I don't have any other way to explain it. I just happen to be Musashi who's a little different from the one you're familiar with. I see... Indeed, I do have some familiarity with Shinmin Musashi. At the very least, I can say with confidence that he was not a woman. Could it be that you inherited his name? I doubt he had a daughter, but might you perhaps have been his disciple at some point? My father was Shinmin Munisai. Come to think of it, I guess he was technically my master too. I see. Yep. Then you say you truly are Shinmin Musashi. Uh, though I thought I'd already said so. Um, I don't really want to explain it because I thought it might be confusing. I think I'm actually from a different history. Really, like a different world than the one you all know. Do you get what I mean? A different history. If you had told me that while I was alive, I probably would have said you were speaking nonsense. But now, hmm. Very well then, Lady Musashi. Let me ask you this. Are you familiar with one Takata Matabe? I mean, Matabe the Spearman? How do you know about... No, right. Come to think of it, he studied Hozoan style sojutsu, didn't he? I think that when we fought, he already opened his own school. Anyway, what about him? Takata Matabe and I studied under the same master, and Matabe claimed he crossed swords with Shinmin Musashi. In which case... Hmm. Uh, hey, hang on, both of you. Oh, wow. Looks like your instincts were right on the mark, Tanner. Way to go. Whatever happened to the rule of law in this land, nonetheless, is a good opportunity. Musashi, we could merely talk about this all we want to to no avail, but as warriors we have far other, clearer ways to communicate than words alone. Indeed, I'd hate to be taken lightly just because I got thin arms. But really, I guess they are, kind of. You're more hard-headed than you seem, aren't you, Lord Inshin? I suppose now's as good a time as any to prove how I am with my swords. We can only proceed so far with fogs doubting our minds. As such, there is only one path left for us. Alright, Lord Inshin, why don't you take the right side? Shall we see, uh, say who still ever slaughters the most spirits is the winner? I heartily agree that quick thinking is indeed the Shinmin Musashi I know. <sighs> Are you really shoot first types? Oh, what's going on? Anyway, I want you to stick close to Tanner again. Make sure you don't move from his side. Okay. <laughs> You're such a good little boy, Tosuke. Don't cry now. This will be all over soon. There you are, evil spirits. Just this once. 
Glad you don't know when to give up. Such ferocity. Most men would soil their pants at the sight of such creatures, yet you yearn to fight. At this point, I am already willing to believe you are who you say you are, but will be damned if I miss this chance to compare our skills firsthand. You there, young man. Make sure you keep careful track of which of us defeats more spirits. This is interesting because, like, yeah, we got... Hmm... We got different stuff going on, you know? Characters from different worlds and stuff. That might be where it goes from now on, which is interesting. Okay, so you have Sure Hit and Sea Star drop rate up. Oh, are you like a big star, dude? Let's try that. Let's see if we can get some big stars going on with you. Okay, so let's go. How many can you get, dude? Let's see here. Can you can you chain all your stars together? Is this going to be enough? Yep, yeah, good. Okay, that's a decent move, set south. 38, very nice. Okay, so now we can go, honestly, why don't I just like... You did more than enough by doing it that way, so let's do that again. And we're also even getting our meter. Very nice. 35 stars. Cool, cool, cool. What do we got now? More spirits? Okay. Take you out. Um. Oh, I didn't I didn't do I didn't change my outfit again. Okay, that's fine. Um, we'll go. A little bit more of this. Keep getting all these stars. Oh, we didn't get enough crits that time, it looked like- uh, yeah, we got that good. Just barely. We do have a heal, which is gonna be good. Bonus effect for the Malevolence. Okay, well, let's... Let's pop a heal on you. Uh, that is a cure-all, but... oh well. Um, Orobo Urazaki, 11 forms. So let's see here. Increase attack, sea star rate, and apply death and... Uh, hmm, okay, interesting. We'll try this to get going. It's a buff. I sure hope we later on get the ability to pick multiple servants for our side. It is just a major self buff, huh? Hey, you did it. Nice. What is that fire icon? I should check on that. Well, it's gone now. What was that? The one fire icon? Um, death immune. Okay. Okay, let's go. A bit of this. Enough damage, hopefully. It's interesting, kind of slightly puzzly battles, you know? Battle finish. Okay. Judging from the fact that it does show that we have some servants that will eventually gain bonus bond points means that we will eventually make connection and get our servants, I bet. Unless it is literally just for the bonus chapters, which is also possible. This is it. Not yet, it isn't. Whew. <sighs> I guess you really can't put any stock in rumors. Unparalleled with a spear doesn't even come close to your doing your skill justice. It would even be an insult to call you the greatest of all time. Every thrust to your spear, every sweep, every strike, every slash, would be the ultimate finishing blows for any other fighter. To be honest, watching you fight up close gave me chills. It was so beautiful I could hardly believe it. No one at any point in Japan's history has ever wielded a spear with such absolute perfection. The depth of your mindfulness and technique, the way your spear cut through the air with only the bare minimum distance required, sheer mastery of your form with not a single movement wasted, I would still have a long way to go in comparison. Incredible, you win no doubt about it. It was an honor to witness your skill up close, Lord Inshin. Seriously, that was awesome. The air to the Hozoan school was even greater than I imagined. I see. That's how it seemed to you, eh? In that case, I think you can finally accept this. Oh, I don't mean your identity, I mean myself as a so-called servant. To be honest, even if I learned about heroic spirits and servants, I was unsure whether I was fit to be one myself. But if a swordsman of your caliber has admitted defeat, I can accept that I am worthy to be a heroic spirit. 
I am the one who should be thanking you, Shinman Musashi. You've proven beyond all doubt how capable women warriors can be. He called you Musashi. So he did. He even thanked me, even though I don't deserve it. Lord Inshin is truly as great as the spear he wields. I appreciate that, but uh, can I set the record straight about one thing? Just because I've declared you the victor doesn't mean I lost. Isn't that right, Tanner? I never said I lost, did I? Wow, Musashi sure does hate to lose. I see. Yes, now that you mention it, you're right. The Musashi I know would never readily admit defeat. Indeed, you are without a doubt Shinman Musashi. Both your skills and your speech prove it. And that's the second time. It seems our contest to see whether I am truly Musashi has been settled as well. Hmm. Yep, that was twice. You said Shinmin Musashi twice. Do you agree she's Musashi then? <laughs> I see, I see. I've called you that twice, have I? Well done. I may have won our contest of skill, but it seems I've lost it in what truly mattered. I don't recall ever refusing to acknowledge you for who you are, but let me make it official. Magnificently played, Lady Musashi. Now, at last, I know what kind of situation I've found myself in. I am a servant who has been summoned to this place, and that young man uh, there is one of the few of his time that knows what servants are. This is not fate, <laughs> then nothing is. <laughs> You're right! Please, will you tell me everything you can about yourselves? I may be Hozo and Inchin, but I have no idea as to who summoned me here. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I see. Kaldia, is it? I'm afraid I understood perhaps half of what you told me at best, Lady Musashi, but I understand what Tanner had to say well enough. I have no connection to this Kaldia place whatsoever. Therefore, I must be an inhuman being who has appeared here for some other reason. They're not human? Ah, they're like extra amazing people. Amazing people? Then they're samurai? Mr. Inchin is a monk, isn't he? <laughs> that I am. No matter what else I shall be, I shall always be a monk. Okay. I understand that you're kind of the same person as the people Tanner summoned last time we met. There is, is there someone controlling you, or did you just pop out of the grave all on your own? I'm not undead, though I suppose that the art that summoned me is as black as those that can create undead, so perhaps we are more similar than I would like. At any rate, as far as I can remember, I materialized here as a lancer about two days ago. I have no idea whether or not I have a master. All I know is that when I came to, I was standing alone at the edge of the Katori Shrine Gates. I was given very little knowledge during my summoning. I know only that this is the 16th year of Kan A, in which Tokugawa Iemitsu reigns, that we are in the Shamusa province. I uh, that in modern terms we're in the Chiba Prefecture. Okay, okay. Chiba Prefecture? Chiba Prefecture? Indeed, I know where we are and when we are, but nothing more. Again, I have no idea whatsoever why I was summoned to begin with. Nonetheless, when I came to, I had an ominous premonition. The hairs on the back of my neck stood up, warning me not to remain a moment longer. So I left Katori Shrine and wandered around, slaying the spirits that appeared at night, and the sky grew dark. That's when you met us, eh? I'm <laughs> glad you made it here safe and sound, Lord Inshin. I mean, I've been rocking around these mountains and fields for a whole two days without anything to eat or drink, right? I've done that myself at times, so I know how hard it is. Especially since that's the exact same situation I'm in right now myself, I really need to eat something before my stomach turns itself inside out. You do? All I have is some water and my bamboo flask. I'm sorry I don't have anything else, Mr. Monk. <coughs> but if you come to my grandpa's hermitage, we can treat you to rice balls. That is most kind of you, but worry not. This form of mine is fleeting and transient. I have no need of food or drink. Feel free to drink the water yourselves. Teary eyes? Uh oh, is she gonna cry? On second thought, it appears I spoke too soon. There's no creature on earth that does not get thirsty, after all. In fact, I just realized how thirsty I am. Very well, Anu. I will gladly accept your kind offer. Okay. There we go. Man, that's unbelievable. I can't imagine being able to fight after going an entire day without a drop of water. It is merely what it means to be a heroic spirit or a servant. For that matter, you seem fully capable of the same feat yourself. <laughs> I guess so. I think it's amazing how you never get hungry. Uh, hmm. As long as you don't, haven't run out of magical energy. Holy Grail? Yeah, we're going to talk about that. It's a goblet associated with Western Saints, an object said to be derived from the great cauldrons used by ancient foreign gods. They possess immense power and are capable of granting wishes and performing miraculous feats with ease. In essence, they are omnipotent wish granters. Huh. With all these wicked creatures running rampant, it is indeed possible that there is a Holy Grail here. Someone may have obtained it, it maybe using it, using its power to bring those creatures into this world. That's the case, I've got to do something. 
You have to do something, huh? I've been going home a lot later. You okay with that? Eh, something I have to do. The needs of the many and all, huh? So young, that you've already separating your own problems from the ones of those around you. I guess I've got no choice but to stick around and help you out then. Can't very well be the only one not bothering, because it sounds so much too much trouble if you've gone and said something like that after all. As I say, we don't meet people by accident. They're meant to cross our cross out path that's supposed to be R for a reason. Or maybe we've come too far to turn back now is better here. This thing presumably causing trouble is called the Holy Grail, right? But there's someone here up to no good with it. You just need to teach him a lesson before heading back to Caldia, right? Ah, you mean you help me, Musashi? Of course I will. Besides, I love helping out cuties like you. Aw, thank you. If anything, I've been waiting for you to ask. If you're okay with my help, I'll gladly stick with you to the end. You truly are different from the Musashi I know in many ways. He would never help anyone for free. But my apologies, I did not mean to imply that you were either a man or an imposter. You are your own Miyamoto Musashi with your own inimitable Niten Ichi Ryu swordsmanship. That aside, young Tanner, your fortitude is most impressive, especially given your age. Uh, it's just hard to look the other way. I see, you are a good person and a hearty one at that. I can see why you and Lady Musashi get along so well. It is wonderful to see. Wonderful? Hey, what are you all talking about? Oh, just boring grown-up talk. Don't need to worry about it if you don't understand. Okay. At any rate, it's terrible that someone has seen fit to summon monsters here, especially after the Tokugawa reign only just brought Japan's period of war to an end. I don't know what it is they're after, but they must have a lot of time on their hands. It's still too soon to say anything for certain, but I wouldn't rule it out. Regardless, transient form or not, the fact remains that I've come back to life. As such, I must use my spear to help those suffering from these circumstances beyond their control. I believe that to be nothing less than the reason why I was given new life. But if I'm being fully truthful, there's another more selfish reason. I now have another chance to wield my spear, and there's no better target to use it on than these creatures plaguing innocent people. Is that so? Hey, you're a pretty cool guy, Inshin. Am I? At any rate, there are matters we must discuss, Musashi Tanner. We do not know if you two have some connection to these creatures plaguing Shimosa, or if your presence here is mere coincidence. However, after speaking with you and fighting by your side, I have made up my mind. I see that you are worthy of my trust. As such, I won't insist that you accompany me, but I would suggest that we begin by getting Onoe and Tosuke back to this hermitage place safely. We can plan our next move after that. Is that acceptable? Ah, sounds good. I was already planning to continue walking with uh, Tanner and to take Onoe and Tosuke home. Okay, Lord Inshin, it may only be for a short while, but I'm glad having you accompany us all the same. Likewise. Ho ho ho. All right, well, that is that solved. Dun, 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 dun. Saint Quartz get. Next time, mid road. We got some battles there before we get to the next location. So I was. Oh, this is so beautifully done. Next time, I'll see you guys for some more Shimosa, the parallel pseudo parallel world. Kenne sixteen. We'll see you then for that. Ciao, guys.